VMware and Microsoft are the leaders in hybrid cloud. Fight me. Hey, welcome to the first edition of the CTO Advisor CTO Dose for 2020. Happy New Year. So 2019 was the year of hybrid cloud. What do I mean by that? It's the year that IT vendors finally acknowledged. When I say IT vendors, I mean AWS, Google Compute, Microsoft Azure, which they have always have, uh, as well as Dell Technologies, and all of the traditional vendors. It's the year that they acknowledged hybrid IT is the future of enterprise IT. This is, I think, supported by the fact that AWS finally released Outpost. They're still not talking about other clouds, but they released Outpost. Google has partnered with several providers to make sure that Anthos is available on premises. Microsoft has continued their march and their maturity towards Azure Stack. VMware has made a deal with the devil and now is, is an every public cloud provider. So the future of enterprise IT, I think, if you're a practitioner, you've already known this, hybrid cloud is just the way it's going to be. We're going to have multiple cloud providers and we're going to have uh, the majority of us at least will have some on-premises or private cloud components that make up our hybrid IT infrastructure. So who's leading in this space? I got a lot of pushback from my friends at Nutanix. I'm, I welcome to them for them to continue to share with me why they feel that they're a leader in this area. But it's people who've been working on it for a very long time. Microsoft with Azure Stack, we had the Azure Stack, Jeff Snover, the Azure, he's the Azure Stack, uh, or was the Azure Stack chief architect. We had him on the CTO Advisor podcast a couple of years ago talking about Azure Stack and what Microsoft wanted to accomplish with it. During Ignite 2019, Microsoft announced a smorgasbord of services around Azure Stack, including one that replicates data to AWS. So Microsoft has full on accepted the reality of not just multiple clouds, but hybrid cloud and the need for organizations to manage their infrastructure. If not in a consistent matter, matter at least a platform that gives you that capability. VMware is coming at it from a different perspective. They're saying, you know what? We know that you're you're going to want to adopt cloud native capabilities. You're going to want to go into Google and use their AI and machine learning capability. You want to you're going to want to go to AWS and use advanced services and best of class services like serverless Lambda functions. And you're going to have your on-premises resources, your Oracle databases, your SAPs of the world. You're going to need to put your data as close to these services as possible. And what better way to do that than to use your existing processes to do that using VMware vSphere, put VMware vSphere in public cloud. That's probably the most popular thing. I think the second thing that VMware hasn't done a really great job of promoting is that they're taking public cloud services and allowing those public cloud services to run on vSphere. So it's kind of similar to the Azure Stack function where you, you, you take something like RDS and enable RDS to manage databases with, within your vSphere infrastructure. You go to your AWS console and you deploy it as if you were going to deploy Azure Stack in the re as a region inside of your data center. You're going to deploy RDS as a region, but it's just inside of your data center. So I think those two vendors are by far the furthest in execution of their overall vision. I think Nutanix has a vision. I still waiting on the request for them to update me on the maturity of their vision and their maturity of them executing upon that vision. It's just that the most, most customers I talk to aren't engaging Nutanix for their on-prem, off-prem, integrated cloud experience more so than improving the existing 
uh, private cloud operations. But again, I'm open to hearing that. I'm also open to hearing if you're a vendor or if you're an IT practitioner and you don't agree or I'm missing someone or I'm missing the aspect of what one of the vendors are doing, I would love to hear your feedback. Who's leading an execution and vision for hybrid cloud in 2019 going into 2020? Talk to you next CTO Dose.